Oh man, good morning folks. Time for a little breakfast out here at Big Al's Eats. Glad y'all could join me this morning. We're going to do something a little special today. We are expanding on our recipes that we've done. You know, I did one uh, called the refrigerator. It's just what I had in the refrigerator. Well, we're kind of going with that theme again today, but uh, not necessarily with leftovers. Uh, we're going to do a what some people might call a southwestern omelet, scramble, stir fry, who you know, uh, southwestern Leesburg or red bone, whichever you prefer. But uh, we're going to do some potatoes and eggs and chipotle peppers and uh, burrito sauce. Some folks call it enchilada sauce. But uh, we sitting out here and it's cool this morning. <laughs> It's uh, 47 degrees outside, and I got my signature shorts on and my little green cooking shirt and a cup of that community coffee. So uh, we finna get this thing going. We got a, a lighting problem this morning. The sun's actually coming up, and it's shining in the improper way. We're going to let the sun rise a little bit more, get up above the roof line, and then we're going to get this thing going. Going to do a little stuff on the portable Blackstone this morning. It's just me, y'all. So, uh, y'all stand by, get ready for this. This is going to be good. All right, folks, this time, let's put out a little olive oil. Got to do a little, little saute on some uh, baby portobello mushrooms, some uh, sweet peppers, onions, and I've got some parboiled potatoes that we're going to uh, brown up, up a little bit on here. Won't take but a couple minutes here to get this going. Get a little seasoning down on here. We're going to start out with a little bit of Johnny's. Always use that Johnny's. We're going to season lightly because we've got uh, we've got lots of different things we're going to add to this. There's going to be multiple layers of flavor. Now we're going to do a little uh, kosher salt. Just a little bit. We're going to stir this around a little bit. This should only take a couple minutes. The potatoes and onions and peppers, all that went real quick. What I've got here is uh, chipotle peppers with the gravy or sauce. We're going to add that to this. And stir it in well, mix it in real good. This is just another layer of flavor. Now we'll incorporate that. Like I say, this is going to go pretty quick. We're going to throw some eggs down on this next. It sure, sure smells good. My goodness, I've smelt this before. This is one you all, you're, you're going to have to try this one. All right, where's those eggs? I got to thank my old buddy Roger Stewart. He, uh, he keeps me going in these eggs. Good old country. All from fresh eggs, y'all. Might as well do uh, might as well do three of these babies. And yeah, that's it for them eggs. 
We'll stir this around a little bit, scramble them up a little. We're not very far from plate. This is done now, we're gonna plate it up. This all over but the shout, y'all. And this is just wonderful looking in the smell with that chipotle pepper. Gosh, it smells good. All right, that's the name of that. Let's go ahead to this table and we're going to get started on this southwestern breakfast scramble, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be good. We've got this uh, all finished up. Let me get a little close up here. That looks marvelous. That's very, very tasty. But uh, I think we need to do, we need to garnish, don't we? What kind of garnish should uh, parsley or you watch your TV shows all the time and all them fancy chefs, you know, they get them some parsley or something and lay some little something over there. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is how I'm going to garnish this dish. I'm going to garnish it with little cheese grits. <laughs> That's how we roll at Big Al's Eat, y'all. Let's do a little grit garnish. It don't get no better than grits. It's a southern thing, you know. Them uh, people up north, I think they they like oatmeal or something. I don't, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I don't believe them people up north care a whole lot for grits. Mmm. That's a good cheese grits. I'm going to season it with just a little bit of chipotle pepper. Just a slight dusting. This stuff's good right here. I fry an egg, make me an egg sandwich, I put that on it. And to top it all off, let's put a little burrito sauce on the top or enchilada sauce. I'm just going to pour, pour it across there. I don't believe you can get too much of this on there. Boy, I tell you, that's, the, that's some good stuff right there. All right, let's dig into this. See what we got going on. Got a few grits, got the enchilada sauce on there. Got some peppers and onions. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, man. There ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This, this is a winner. I don't care who you are. You can eat this for any meal of the day. I mean, you got all the major food groups in there. You know what I mean? Mm. Dairy, you got protein, got all that stuff. Got them taters, got the carbohydrates in there. And if you're a jogger, you're gonna run in marathons, you know, I always heard folks say you need to carb up. Carb up, y'all. Mm -hmm. I was watching uh, Bruce Mitchell cook the other day. He likes to do a lot of breakfasts and stuff like that. And he loved mushrooms. I'm going to have to share this one with Bruce. We'll go over there to his timeline. Add this one on there. Maybe he'll cook it. One morning over there in Poncha, Tula, Louisiana. Mm, mm, mm. What are y'all uh, eating this morning for breakfast? You see what I'm having? Mm, mm. And I know one thing. I'm glad I didn't have no parsley to garnish this with. I guarantee you that. 
it was just fine eating y'all. All jokes aside, make something like this. Get out there, get, get, go to the grocery store. You can get you some enchilada sauce in the can or you can go down to your local eatery, wherever you like to eat. You know, the Mexican restaurant. Go in there and tell them to give you a, a pint or a quart of uh, enchilada sauce or burrito sauce. Everybody calls it something different. And uh, throw this together. You've seen how I done it. It didn't take but just a few minutes, and it's fantastic. It's a great breakfast. I ain't even going to need no lunch today. Wait a minute. Did I say that? <laughs> we definitely got to have some lunch. I reckon I'm going to get out of here. I enjoyed cooking for you this morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, like and share my page. Uh, invite all your friends to like Big Al's Eats. We need all the likes we can get. And uh, remember, from my kitchen to yours, Big Al's Eats, bon appetit. <laughs>